Hey guys, so uh, a quick trick for you. Um, I can't normally do this ones like this because of the, the, the mat and the camera set up, but I've got my camera set up for a few overhead shots at the moment, so let's give this a try and see how you like it. I've got a prediction here. Now for those uh, far younger viewers, a prediction is something that I think is about to happen. This is what is going to happen here today. This is my prediction. I'm going to come back to that in a second. Um, I asked Charlie to cut the cards for me and this is what she did. She, uh, she actually did physically cut them in half. Um, all these cards here, lots and lots of different cards. Let me turn around it that way. You might be able to see the, the suits and the numbers. So we've got lots and lots of different cards here. And I've turned these ones face down for a minute. We'll come back to that in a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose one card from the face up pile and one card from the face down pile and see if we can make something special happen. So I'm going to give these a little bit of a shuffle. Oh, sorry, come off the screen then. I'm going to give these a little bit of a shuffle and a couple of cuts. And I'm going to just cut them down onto the table. You can see they're all different. And we're going to go through. I'm just going to stop there. That'll do. That's good enough for me. And uh, that's our first one. In fact, I'm, I'll take the top card and I'll place it here. So out of all these cards, all these different cards, we've chosen the King of Hearts. And over here, I'm just going to give these a little cut. We'll just go somewhere around the middle and I'll mark that for a second. We'll come back to that in a second. So what we've got here now is we've got two cards selected. We've got a card here and we've got a card here. I'm going to put them together and we'll see if we can see what's happened here. Let me take out the card here and I'm going to place that there. Okay, so I've got one card here and one card here. Okay, let me close these up and I'll put them to the side for a second. Okay, check this out because are you ready for this? Dun dun dun! They match. That's amazing. Not only do they match here and here, but they also match my prediction over here. That has got to be the best trick in the world. Oh, I'm so glad that worked. What? I'm, I'm picking up some feelings here. I'm picking up some feelings that you don't think that's what I should have done. But I did it, look. You put one card from here and one card from here and they matched and they matched. You're not, you're not convinced with that. Oh, okay, okay, well, I, okay, well. Sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't. So I hope it works, but check this out. If I turn this card over, are you ready? Dun, dun, dun. Oh. Um, yeah, that's, that's not what you'd call a traditional pairing, is it? It's the three of spades and the king of hearts and one's black and one's red and one's a picture card and one's a number card. And what's quite interesting though is that they do match on that side. No, that's not a very good trick. Okay, well what is really interesting it's all of these cards are different. And all of these cards over here, the red backs, what's really interesting is if I take the red back cards, every single one of them is blank. All the way through, every single one completely blank. So when I cut the cards, I found the only one that wasn't blank in a pile of blank cards. Now all these cards are different and you can see they're all completely different here. But what's really interesting is I got the one with the back that matches the prediction and matches the card over here. When in fact all of these have got completely different backs. Every single one, no matter where you stop, every card is completely different. So even though they don't match together, I did find the only one with a printed face and the only one with a red back. <coughs> oh, did I forget to mention? 